My name is Jeffrey Robinson. I'm an associate professor from the Rutgers Business School in the USA. Uh, my role at the university is to um, uh, be the academic director for the Center for Urban Entrepreneurship and Economic Development. My specialty is social entrepreneurship um, and urban entrepreneurship. Uh, there are five things which every social entrepreneur should know. Uh, the first one is that they should realize that social entrepreneurship is more difficult than traditional entrepreneurship. You might say why, but it's really uh, more difficult because you're trying to balance three bottom lines. Not just the financial bottom line, but you want to also have the social and the environmental bottom lines also taken care of. And that leads to, to many challenges which we can work you through, but realize that those um, items make it a more challenging and more difficult way to go. Second thing that people should understand about social entrepreneurship um, is that you can't do this work alone. You need to have other people around you. You need to have people who are uh, similarly uh, thinking about entrepreneurship, thinking about the issues of the community, people who can encourage and inspire you as you go. It's very important to have that network. Um, a third thing that every social entrepreneur should know um, is that social entrepreneurship um, is important for society, but we shouldn't think about measurement as an, an obstacle to what you're doing. It should be an opportunity. Many times when we talk about the social sector, people question whether uh, the funds that are going into that sector are being used appropriately. Um, so social entrepreneurship is about accountability. It's about measuring your outcomes and every social entrepreneur should, should understand that. The fourth thing every social entrepreneur should know is that social entrepreneurship um, and the entrepreneurs who take part in it should take advantage of training and continuing education uh, type of opportunities. The reason that you need to do that is it not only engages you into the, the network of social entrepreneurs, but the field is rapidly changing. Uh, we've learned a lot in the last 10 years about how to do this and what to do. There are new players, um, the foundation world, the aid world, um, the private sector and government are all playing roles in social entrepreneurship. Those roles are changing changing, how you interact with them is, is, is important, and so uh, you need to really stay up on what's happening in the field. Um, and there are lots of ways to do that, and we have access to social media and other technologies that help, but training, continuing education, uh, and support is important. The fifth thing that every social entrepreneur should know is that you should really become invested in learning the language of social entrepreneurship and the social sector. Um, the traditions of the uh, social sector are, are changing and the, the people who are putting the money into the sector, the impact investors, are expecting you to use certain words and to understand what they mean. And that really uh, relies upon you being immersed in the field and understanding the difference between um, somebody who's claiming to be a for benefit uh, type of company versus somebody who's be trying to be a, a low uh, profit, limited liability company. Or the difference between impact investing and social venture capital. Or perhaps you need to understand how uh, these terms are, are being used around the terms social impact and outcomes. I mean, it sounds like jargon, but um, the the people who are uh, who are the, the people who are holding the money, you might say, are expecting you to understand more about how this field works. So every social entrepreneur needs to understand the language of the social sector. Uh, the five things that I believe social entrepreneurs didn't know, they, they, they can apply globally. Uh, and part of it is because the conversation around social entrepreneurship is a global conversation. There, there may be a foundation um, that is based in the United States, but they're doing work here in Kenya. Or there may be a, um, a, a group that is working here in Kenya that's also working in India. And so for the things that I'm talking about um, that are specific around language or training and things, you, you are hearing the same conversation taking place in, in many different places. And then the other points I've made um, are really about uh, how to be successful as a social entrepreneur. Every social entrepreneur needs to have people around them. And every social entrepreneur uh, needs to participate in um, activities that get them immersed in this field. So uh, you know, these things are universal, they're, they're global.